Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here today with a Savage Impulse rifle. If you're not familiar with what that is, it has a straight pull action. Like I said, if you're not familiar, you might be saying, what in the devil? Looks like a bolt action. It's not a bolt action. There's no turning. This is a straight pull. It comes straight back. You don't rotate the bolt. It's a straight pull action. That's really the big thing to talk about when it comes to the Savage Impulse Rifle. But first impressions, it has a heavier barrel than you might think it has. Threaded barrel, we've slapped a really nice Crimson Trace Brush Line Pro optic on it with 12 zoomies. But the whole point of this video is I've brought out a bunch of ammo. This Savage Impulse is in 308, so I brought out a bunch of 308 Winchester ammo. I just sighted this in off camera. We're gonna take it out to 100 yards exactly and see if we can find a 308 loading or bullet grain weight that this Savage Impulse really, really likes. See what kind of groups we can get. You guys that watch the channel know that I really like to find that ammo that a rifle likes when I get my hands on one. So let me show you an up close of this Savage real quick. Then I'll show you the ammo we're gonna try at 100 yards and then we'll get to sling them. Try not to make it too long a video. Should be a whole lot of fun. Check it out. All right, so a little bit closer look at this Savage Impulse here. Pretty, pretty slick from back to front. It's got a lot of extras on it, threaded barrel. But again, the, the biggest thing to talk about there is that straight pull action. We're gonna see what we think about that. And the ammo that I brought out here today We've got some Remington Core Locked, 150 grain. We've got the new Remington Core Lock tipped in 165 grain. Then we got some Remington Premier Match in 168 grain. Then we've got the heavier 308 Core Lock tipped in the 180 grain. I'm gonna go ahead and take a crack guess and say that this Savage likes the 165 grain tipped stuff best, that new Core Lock tipped had really good luck out of that tip stuff so far put it in a whole lot of different rifles that's gonna be my guess but I'm gonna slow down take my time do a three shot group of all four types of these ammo we'll see what the Savage likes the best all right so I just sighted this thing in but I sighted it in with the 180 grain heaviest ones so the point of impact may be slightly off let's start off here with the lightest those 150 grain Remington core locks and we'll see where these hit. I'll speed up the video edit here just to make it a little bit easier to watch. But here goes the three hits first of the 150 grain core locked. And that hit a bullseye. See how we can do with the next two. I think this impulse really likes those 150 grain core locks. That was real close to the first hit. Hey, that's money. I hate it when the first uh, the first one does really good because that kind of <laughs> ruins the video. But hey, uh, so far this Savage Impulse 308 absolutely loves those 150 grain core locks. He just about can't do any better than that, but. I'm gonna sit here and try. Next is three hits with the 165 grain Remington Core Lock tip stuff. Not too far off the point of impact there. It's doing pretty decent. It might still be within a one inch group there. And that's putting them in there. Not a bad group at all. It's probably right at a one inch group. We'll measure it with the calipers here in a second. But the winner is still the 150 grain core lock so far. Now we're going to go up 
a little bit heavier to the 160 grain Remington match. Those are touching there. Let's do a third one. Try not to mess that group up. Woo -hoo -hoo. I think we just got the number one seat with that Remington Premier match. So I'm gonna have to buy a few boxes of that. That's money. So far, nothing terrible though. Now we're gonna step it up to the 180 grain. Remington core lock tip. It's also worth saying I'm not slowing down to let this thing cool. A lot of people say, oh, you can't get good groups with a hot barrel. That thing's too hot to touch, and we just put three in the same hole with a hot barrel. So, fooey on all y'all that tell me that all the time. <laughs> but here's 180 grainers. Uh, if, it, if it likes the 150 grainers and the uh, 160 some odds that good, I'm going to guess it's not going to like the 180s as good, but you never know, that's why we do these videos. So here's the 180 grainers. But the point of impact is, is still on from when I sighted it in with this ammo. So, do two more. Hey, it's putting them in there. Same hole with every kind of ammo. That's kind of ridiculous. We might have a little bit of a unicorn here. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild. And that one hit a shade off. But I'm going to send another one because I felt like that was a bad trigger pull on my part. So let's go ahead and do a number four. Give this one benefit of the doubt and really focus on my trigger. Nope, that one didn't hit as the first two either, but let's run down there with the calipers quick, measure those groups. I'm super impressed with this Savage Impulse, just strictly based on the groups. Groups are phenomenal out of this thing. All right, brought my calipers out here, guys, so we can show you the exact groups. I was super impressed with these. We got all scientific mathematical on you so let me show you these groups three out of the four less than a one inch group at a hundred yards that doesn't happen very often when you get a rifle like that at a hundred yards that likes quite a bit of different types of ammo really even the one that was above an inch wasn't that terrible especially if you're talking about normal deer hunting distances but let me show you all these up close so our first group this is with the regular core locked 150 grain 0.804 inch group that was our second best then we did the core lock tipped 165 grain this is what my guess i thought was going to be the best not bad that's still under an inch at 0.936 inch group that was our third best then we put that good stuff that remington match in there got a 0.275 inch group look at that guys three touching at 100 yards with that savage impulse that was our number one group there that remington match 168 grain stuff that savage impulse loves that if you have a savage impulse you need to buy a case of this and probably a case of that but our last one was the heaviest stuff core lock tipped 180 grain it got last place but it still got a respectable 1.45 inch group for normal deer hunting distances, 100 yards, 200 yards, or even closer, that is plenty good enough out of that Savage Impulse. But first place, that Remington match, fantastic group. You don't see groups like that every day. Second place, the regular core locked 0.804 inch group there. Very good group. Third place, still under a one inch group with 165 grain tipped. And then, last place, was the Corlock tipped the heaviest stuff. Maybe these two were me, maybe I had a bad day, maybe my shoulder hurts, but we had two go in the same hole. There's still something to be said about that. But all in all, hey, 
there's our ammo test out of the Savage Impulse. Did fantastic. All right, there you have it, guys. I'm not going to ramble on too much anymore. The results, I think, kind of speak for themselves. The Savage Impulse is a fantastic shooting rifle. Uh, as far as running the straight pull action, I'd probably have to do that a thousand times before I got used to it. I've done so much bolt action stuff over the years, but I mean, it ran just fine for us today. Didn't have any hang ups or problems. That straight pull was super, super smooth. It didn't grab on me or anything. Um, so, hey, it works. Definitely looking forward to uh, doing some more with this here in the future. Got a threaded barrel on it. Things real slick, but like I said, the the results at 100 yards, it's not every day you, you get one of these that just pretty much loves every type of ammo you feed it. But super impressed, got a .2 something, three shot group at 100 yards, it really doesn't get any better than that. Uh, like I said, you guys saw it, this Savage really loves just about all that Remington ammo we brought out here today. But appreciate y'all watching, comment down below what you guys want to see next time. We have the best viewers on the interwebs. Appreciate y'all, we'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie hoo! Oh, yeah.